let's use tempera. Remember when we're using tempera, we need some brushes, some water, and a cloth to dry our brushes. Now let's look at some tempera techniques. The blend. To blend colors, we put a little bit of water in our colors and then put the colors beside each other and brush over and over sideways to blend them together. Dry brush. You guessed it, we use a dry brush to do our dry brush technique. So dry it out really well and then we just use a little bit of paint on the end of our brush and drag our brush across. We can layer it to get a nice textured look. Wet on wet. Turn our temper paint into watercolors by adding a lot more water. And we can blend them together to make a watery effect. Overlay. Layer down one layer of paint and then let that layer of paint dry. It'll take about five minutes. Then we can go over top with another color and we'll be able to see the color underneath sometimes or sometimes we won't depending on the paint. Palette knife. We can use a palette knife to smear paint around and create thicker paint that we often call impasto. Graffito. Create one layer of paint and let that layer of paint dry. Again, it'll take a couple minutes. Then we can put another layer of paint over top and take a paint scratcher or a toothpick and scratch or draw into the paint to see the color underneath. Scumble. Move your paintbrush in squiggly motions layering different colors over top of each other. Um, try to blend them in as you squiggle the paint around. Soft and hard. We can make a soft edge by putting paint down and then using a dry brush to rub around the edges of that color. We can make a hard edge by having thicker paint and going straight across on the line. Bonus! We can use other tools we have around us like Q-tips to add different techniques on top of our paintings. So these are a few of our techniques. I can't wait to see how you try them.